this is where the box card will be attached. It's in neutral now, but this is what propels it. There's 12 rubber bands. When you lock it into gear, you can then tighten the spring to actually make the locomotive movement. This locks it into place. That's your uh, emergency brake, if you will. The door's open. Moving parts, super cool. Tons and tons of individual pieces. This alone probably took 10 hours. Give me two more seconds to get it wound up real good. It's a little sticky whenever I release the, the lever and make the gears actually go. But you should be able to see pretty well. And will it roll on the floor? No, it has a track that it rolls into. Did it come with the track? Yeah, the track will be part of the display. Oh. The track and box car both sit on the display. Well, that'll be cute under the Christmas tree. And as you can see, as I wind it up, all the gears work in unison to make it propel or reverse. You can go forward or backward. Pretty nifty. And then, if there's ever a time you need to uh, look in the engine room, there's a hatch here. It's supposed to come up. I guess it doesn't. It's supposed to be an emergency hatch when you need to look in there and see what's going on with the rubber bands. Pretty cool. How soon do you think you'll have it finished? Um, I should have it done in another three weeks at least. Just I have a busy schedule coming up, but it's there's still another hundred parts. Um, refer to the picture previous. Oh, you're making me strong. 